What's up YouTube? It's Andrew from Posh Designs and today I have episode 5 of my weekly series called GFX Tip Friday where I go into Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D or another demanding editing program and I show you guys one tip that could be really useful. Today's episode is going to be coming from Krez Designs and he asked if I can make a video on how to put textures on 3D text in Photoshop that I made the text in Cinema 4D. So Krez Designs, this one's for you and this is how you put textures on 3D text. So as you see right here, this is what we're going to be recreating. And this is just some nice graffiti 3D text that I made in Cinema 4D. And then I slapped a texture on over it because it looks just a little plain when it doesn't have the texture on it. So let's hop right on in it. Now as you see, I already have a composition made for this. I just have a nice background in the 3D text. Of course, you guys are going to have to make your 3D text first before you guys can go anywhere. So after you have your 3D text, you guys are going to want to just import it to Photoshop. And let's get started. So if we just want to import our texture, now if you guys want the same texture I'm using, open up the description below, it'll say download texture here, and then uh, the file should be texture used in number 5 posh designs. So after you have it downloaded, if you want to use the same texture I'm using, or you guys can use a different texture, it really doesn't matter, drag it on into Photoshop, just place it in there. And then you guys are going to want to kind of uh, maintain the aspect ratio down to whatever your font size really is. You don't want it super big and overpowering the text. So I'm just going to hold down shift and maintain aspect ratio of this texture. And I'm just going to kind of shrink it and drag it on over my text just to make it a little bit smaller and fit the text just a tad bit better. So right about there is good if you just want to press enter. If you guys for some reason do have to move it around again, just press control T and then that will get you back to the transforming. Okay, so after we have our texture over our font, all we have to do is hold down Alt and just make sure that we have our concrete texture above our 3D graffiti in our layers tab. So after we have that over the 3D graffiti, we're going to hold down Alt, hover in between the concrete texture and 3D graffiti. So we get kind of these three circles and uh, in the middle it should be like completely black and then left click and we'll see that our texture kind of masks onto our 3D text and that's kind of the effect that we're going for but now you see that you can't even see through the texture you guys can only see a little bit now a lot of you are going to be uh, kind of changing down the opacity and stuff you guys actually don't have to do that if you guys just come to where it says normal right under layers if you guys just go to overlay it's going to overlay that texture right onto there and match the colors that it was using now me, I like it a little bit stronger of an effect on the texture. So all I do is while I'm on concrete texture, I just control J and that duplicates the texture again. And all we have to do is the same thing for this concrete texture to mask on to the text. We just have to hold down alt, hover in, bec in between the concrete texture copy and the concrete texture. And if we just press it again, now it's masked on there once again. Now, I don't know, it kind of looks a little strong in this. It looks a little bit more stronger than it did in this one. And in this one, I think I probably opened up this graffiti and I probably turned one of these down. Yep, I turned one of them down. So you guys will have to duplicate if you guys don't want to, of course. It's just what I like to do just to make it look a little bit stronger of an effect. But that's basically how you put the texture on it. Now, also, I did put a kind of a light at the top of it. Um, as you see right here, I have a light in my layers tab. All you guys have to do really is do this. And if you just want to open up your paintbrush tool and you go to your size and just turn it up really big, I would say maybe I'm going to go about 700. And if you just make a new layer by pressing this button right down here by the trash can, and you want almost as big as your guys' text itself. And then you want to change the color to a complete white. And then on when you're on the layer one, one, just lay that down. So right about there. And then is what we can do is hold down alt, hover in between layer one and concrete texture copy. And if we just lay that down. Then is what we have is this nice light right above it. Now we can also uh, click on layer one and while we're selected on the move tool right up here in the top left corner of your guys' tools, you guys can move the light around to wherever you want. So I'm going to leave mine right about there and that looks pretty good. So guys, that's how you would put a texture 
on 3D text and then make it a little bit jazzy with that light at the top. So guys, I hope this tutorial helped you out. I hope it helped you out, Crest Designs, and answers all your questions that you have about adding textures onto 3D text. If you guys do have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave your comment in the comment sections below and I will respond to you guys as soon as possible. Please give this video a big thumbs up. It only takes two seconds, guys, and it really helps me out keeping these GFX Tip Fridays coming. Until next time, guys, my name's Andrew from Posh Designs. I make quality graphics for free, and I make your visions a reality. Astronome, my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Fuck all that shit, just let me go. Words and taste makers make us no chaser. Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker. Cut the